This is page four of the mid-module review. Number five. Rebecca weighs the apples shown to the right. A. How much do the apples weigh? I know this scale is a bit blurry, but we can make out that it is labeled in kilograms, and I can count one, two, three. So I know that the apples weigh three kilograms. Letter B. Leaving the store, Rebecca thinks each bag of groceries seems to be as heavy as the apples. Use Rebecca's idea about the weight of the apples to estimate the weight of six bags. So she knows that one bag weighs about three kilograms. We need to figure out how much six bags weigh. So I'm going to start by making a tape diagram. I have my tape diagram. I'm going to draw six groups to represent my six bags. One group weighs three kilograms. Think about what we might do based on that picture. I know my groups and my size. I am missing the total. So I can multiply six groups times three in each group, which will give me three. I'm counting by three. Six, nine, 12, 15, 18. That will give me 18. My last step is to write a sentence. The bags weigh eighteen kilograms. Number or letter C. The grocer helps carry about nine kilograms. Rebecca carries the rest. Estimate how many kilograms of groceries Rebecca carries. I know there is a total of 18 kilograms and the grocer is going to carry nine. I need to know how many Rebecca will carry. If there is a total of 18 and the grocer is going to carry 9, I'm going to subtract to find out how much Rebecca will carry. If I put 9 in my head, I can count, count up to 18 using my fingers. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, 19, 18. I need to stop at 18. That gives me 9. So I will write my sentence. Rebecca carries 9 kilograms. That's a lot of groceries to carry. All right, let's go on to our very last problem, letter D. It takes Rebecca 16 minutes to drive to the, the bank after she leaves the store, then 36 more minutes to drive home. How many minutes does Rebecca drive after she leaves the store? I don't know 
how many minutes she drove. I do know that in one portion she drove 16 minutes and over here she drove 36 minutes. If I look at that number bond, I can see that we do not have equal groups. If I don't have equal groups, I cannot multiply. So I am going to add to find my total. 16 minutes plus 36 minutes. 6 plus 6 is 12. I'm going to regroup at the bottom so I don't forget to add that 1. 1 plus 3 plus 1 more is 5. So, I'm going to squeeze my sentence in. She drove 52 minutes. This is the end of our four-page mid-module review assignment.